All right, we're gonna make a short video real quick, hopefully to explain how this pneumatic system works. So I've got my low pressure regulator here, which is broken, but we're just going to ignore it for now. <laughs> um, where did my pencil go? Right. So these are, it's a relatively simple setup here. So this ram here attaches to this rod that goes to the back block that pulls on the cocking rod, cocks the gun. Um, <clears throat> and then once you let go of the trigger, it pulls the back block forward, closing the bolt. So this, obviously this bolt's connected here, pushes it back, everything drops into place, sucks it back forward, closes the bolt, ready for the shot. But it does that by i'm sure you've all seen it but inside of here you have an inlet and you got two outlets now this comes in from your low pressure regulator all right the position of this guy moves o-rings that are in here now on this shaft there are two O-rings, the position of which dictates which way this air flows. So you can imagine <clears throat> as you push this forward by pulling the trigger, pushes the rod forward. So when I go to time this thing in a few weeks, hopefully, um, we can do this. But basically to time it, you have to find the position of the trigger, bang where the sear drops enough to allow the um, striker to move forward. At this point, we don't want this valve open yet. We want that to open after we get forward. So all the way forward, then we want this thing open. So as it pushes forward, we then want this O-ring here to slip past this inlet to allow that air to come in and out this side which goes into this inlet so we're just going to continue that hop over that guy around to this guy now when you put air in here pressurizes this chamber a lot of sound effects which then pushes this shaft backwards okay recocking the gun let go of the trigger this gets pulled back, which then moves this back to the other side, shutting off this barb, but opening this one. So we move back that way. This whole thing moves out here. And then we go in, out to this guy. While this is open again, allowing air to flow back. And then as you build air pressure behind, I guess I should have mentioned there is an O-ring in here that slides back and forth. As you build uh, air pressure behind this, it pushes the shaft back forward again, closing the bolt. Anyway, that's a quick rundown of how this three-way valve pneumatic system works.